Hello Collective. How you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing great at this time. So guys, um, I'm here with a general message for you guys. This is going to be for everyone, all signs. So please only take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Everything is not going to be for every single person, all right? Also, um, masculine and feminine energies can be switched. Roles may be reversed as it applies to your situation. I could be picking up on your energy or someone around you. This could be a lover, friend, ex-lover, ex-friend, co-worker, boss, family member, cat, dog, bus driver. I don't know. Okay. Um, excuse me. Yeah. So let's go ahead and hop into it, guys. Holy. Um. I will try to pick up on your current energy. Okay. But this could be past, present, or future energy that I am picking up on as well. So use your discernment. Take what resonates. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is pull some letters for you guys. This could be first, last, middle, initial of you or someone in your energy or someone coming toward you or thinking about you or you're thinking about them. Okay. All right. I just heard September the 2nd. Twenty-third, August the fifth, January the first, April the second, June thirtieth. July 31st, September 2nd, I said 2nd, August the 12th, May the 12th, I don't know, okay, so, Knight of Pentacles energy here, there could be some sort of stagnancy, something could be slowed down or stagnant or somebody's holding back or somebody wants to come toward you, but they're taking their sweet, precious time, okay? You have the heart here, okay? This could be about your heart chakra, opening up your heart chakra. This could be about healing your heart. This could be about new love, okay? Um, Or love in general, loving yourself. I see like, phew, you know? Like when people like wipe their brow, they're like, phew. Like something is, you're relieved about something or you're going to be relieved about something. Okay. I see you guys have, you have the letter R, E or W, H, E, H, letter C, uh, B as in ball, V, the letter D as in dog, two A's, a K, uh, G, R, What's that? A T, a U, a J, a N, um, another M or W, P, B, Q and A. Q and A, Q and A. Somebody got questions. They want answers from you. Q and A. I feel like you're going to get some answers for some from somebody or you want some answers from somebody or somebody wants answers from you. And I feel like when you, I'm seeing Vic, Vicky, Victor, Victoria. Okay. But it's like when you get these answers, you're going to feel relieved. Like, whew, okay. Like maybe it's not what you thought it was or something like that. Okay. Something about a rug. Um, I see grunt, runt, her, he, her, wet, get wet. Somebody wants to get you wet. <laughs> Okay. Um I see P and B. So this could be like peanut butter and jelly. Cause I see P B and J. But I see P and B. So this could be like that uh the guy that passed away, P and B Rock. Somebody could like listening to him or be listening to him right now. I 
feel like somebody got some freaky stuff on their mind too. I don't know. This is you or somebody else. I feel like somebody wants to know where you are or what you're doing. Yeah, because I'm feeling like somebody's coming forward asking you a lot of questions. Like, I don't know if this is somebody being nosy or if this is somebody, some communication you've been waiting on or what. But it's like somebody wants to know where you are, what you've been doing, why they haven't talked to you, who you've been doing stuff with. I don't know. This could be a nosy person or this could be somebody who genuinely, you know, cares. Like, I haven't heard from you in a minute. I've been thinking about you. What's been going on? Gut. Your gut feeling. Yeah, and you have her. I think her sings that song, Gut Feeling, if I'm not mistaken. I just have a gut feeling. Yeah. So you may want to listen to that song. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Yeah. Move on. Happy November 1st, by the way. We're in a new month already. Feel like October went by so fast. That's usually how it happens, though, right? When we get to a certain part of the year, that the bottom end of the year, bottom half, bottom whatever. Last few months seem like they go by so fast. It's going to be New Year's before we even know it. The holidays go by really, really fast. But it's November the 1st. Happy birthday to any Scorpios out there. Anybody celebrating a, birth celebrating a birthday today? pencil is hold on guys all right so let's see okay I see this could be a TV or like a basketball goal or something. I don't know. I'm getting a basketball goal, a hoop or something. I just heard somebody could be left-handed. Okay. Okay. I see a butterfly. Something about change. Okay. Change could be coming. Butterflies represent uh, transformation and change. Something has changed. Something is about to change. Yeah, I have to put this thing up to my eye because it's very clear. I see another butterfly. Yep. Okay, the number eight or either a ring. This could be a diamond ring or it could be a number eight. See clouds. Another cloudy day. I see another ring. Or another eight. This could be a boat or a car, but it's like it's going. 
backwards or or you know it's traveling to the to the left like back so something is going backwards with these rings i don't know this could be like a divorce or separation or somebody's moving or traveling but it's going backwards I see PPE. Was that that loans? Are those those loans? PP, PPE loans or PPP loans? I don't know, child. But I see that. All right. So I don't know if it's PPE or PPP for these loans, but somebody can have to pay back those loans. So that could be what that's about. I see X here, something about an X. Okie dokie. There's a question here. Yeah, remember I said something about questions and answers? Somebody got questions. Somebody might have to answer for these loans. I don't know. I just heard business. I do see a heart. Okay, we did get a heart in the letters. The number seven is here. The number five. The number five again. The number three. Something about, I see a bird, a bird, so messages, okay, this is a bird, so maybe messages, birds represent messages coming in, there could be messages from the past, maybe, or from a past person. The number four. I see a gift. This looks like a gift. A box with a little bow on it. A gift. Somebody wants to give you something. The number two. Letter H. Ooh. I see, ooh, what is this? I see somebody coming toward you. I don't know who this is. Their face looks real weird. But, ooh, this looks like an older person. I don't know. This face looks very weird, but they're like walking toward. They're walking up. They're walking. Somebody's coming towards you. This could be an older person. Somebody's coming towards you with a message. It doesn't have to be an older person. I don't know. It could be a man. Or somebody's coming toward you with a message. They're walking toward that bird. Honey. The letter T. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into the messages, honey. All right, for the collective, please, Holy Spirit. Ooh, what? Okay. 
Okay. For the collectors, please, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? November the 1st. 2022. For the collectors. What do they need to know? November 1st. 10 of swords energy, somebody feels betrayed, somebody's putting an end to a betrayal, somebody found out about a betrayal. This could be your auntie, somebody's auntie, because this is Aunt Nancy, it don't have to be, but I'm just saying, it could be, okay? Whatever this is, whoever these people are, because this is about a group, Um, it's more than one person, it's a group. You got the Galactic Federation here. This talks about a collaboration meeting on community. So this is a group of people who are trying to betray you, did betray you, or whatever, okay? You got Leo energy here, fire energy. Leo is fire energy, but you have all of the fire energy. You got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We just saw the Aries on the bottom. So you got all the damn Leos out here. You got Leo individually, you got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then we saw Aries on the bottom of the deck. You got cancer energy out here. Oh, excuse me. Somebody's ashamed of something or somebody wants you to be ashamed of something. Somebody wants you to self-sabotage yourself. Somebody snake, 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 snake. Look at all them snakes in the water. I don't know if those are supposed to be her legs, her tentacles, or whatever, but snakes, surrounded by snakes. There's a need for you to ground yourself. You got to ground all this negative ass energy because somebody is definitely sending negative energy your way. Okay. So with this betrayal here, this is air energy, by the way, the element air, Aries, uh, not Aries, sorry, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, okay? 
but this could be you or this could be someone in your energy okay um this this card this betrayal card is it can talk about betraying yourself by allowing other people to betray you, by allowing people to take advantage of you and misuse you and mistreat you, okay? You're self-sabotaging yourself by allowing people, uh, these negative Nancys, okay, in your energy. Yeah, you need to just be very careful about who you trust because somebody wants to confuse you, all right? These people want to confuse you. Somebody is trying to appear trustworthy so they can betray you or somebody that you trusted betrayed you um, and and or by dealing with these people or this person, you're betraying yourself in the process, self-sabotage, okay? You need to ground all of this negativity, this negative energy. That's the last card out. You need to ground that damn energy. This shame card, this is a uh, fire energy, okay? So either you guys got heavy fire in your chart or there's some fire signs around you or a fire sign or some fire signs that you need to watch out for. You got cancer energy here as well. You can have this in your chart or you could be dealing with the cancer also, but this is a fire element. Okay. This, um, long bubble Susie. Okay. She was, or, you know, she's supposed to be scary, okay? She's like the thing of nightmares. She's like what, um, the, scary, you know what I'm saying? Like monster stories, you know, if they wanted to scare the children with the bedtime stories or whatever, then this is what they, they tell stories about Long Bubba Susie, okay? She's poisonous. Kind of like the Black Widow spider, which is what I'm getting with this, okay? That's giving me that older energy as well, Black Widow. Somebody could just be a widow, okay? Um, yeah, but the, her milk is supposed to be poisonous. This is, yeah, jeez Louise. And then you got the self-sabotage here. This has to do with things like, this is kind of giving me um, maybe like devil energy because this has to do with distractions, addictions, cravings, unhealthy habits, okay? Um, anything that you are doing or that you are taking part in or any person that you're dealing with that you feel like is hindering you or holding you back. Okay. This could be a toxic relationship. This could be some sort of addiction. This could be self-limiting beliefs. Okay. But it's something that you need to let go of and ground. Okay. You need to get rid of this energy, these people, these relationships, cut them off, cut it off. Okay. Yeah, that's what we need to do. So let's get this tarot. Because there are a group of people who are trying to stop you. Both of these are giving me earth elements. Especially with this grounding Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. You can have it in your chart. Or it be somebody around you. But you need to protect your peace. Okay. I sort of like mind your business. Not not that you don't mind your business, but it's like be in the now, be in the moment. Don't worry about what other people are saying, doing, especially saying about you or doing toward you. Because I feel like you're blessed and highly favored anyway. So you don't really have to worry about anything. Okay, you've got um February the 22nd is out here. Somebody could be 20, somebody could be 22. Somebody have a 13 year old could be 23 or somebody could have a 20, 22 or 23 year old. You might have a four year old, a 19 year old or be 19. Somebody could have a 24 year old or be 24. Somebody could have a three year old. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Have February the 22nd out here, January the 3rd, February the 2nd, uh, February the 3rd, February the 4th, January the 9th. January, uh, February the 4th, 
March. Okay. Somebody's birthday could be on the 20th, 22nd, 13th, 23rd, 4th, 19th, 24th, or 3rd of a month. Okay. Let's clarify. Let me make sure all these cards are flipped over, right? Because they are all over the place. All right, let's clarify. Why is betrayal here? Ooh. The moon. I just heard what's done in the dark. The moon. The moon talks about secrets, lies, holding something back, doing stuff in the dark, misunderstanding, betrayal. That's the moon energy. Could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer. Somebody could have a Cancer or Pisces moon or just or an Aquarius moon. I just heard. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. This is toxicity. This is emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually abusive. This is drama. This is toxic. This is no. Somebody's doing something behind your back. Somebody's hiding something from you. They're doing something behind your back. Why is the moon card here? What's this betrayal? Why is the moon card here? Seven of Wands. Whatever this is, it's like blocked. All right. It's like protection. It's like um, standing up for yourself, not backing down. Standing your ground, okay? It's like... It's almost like these people want you to back down or want you to be afraid of them or something like that. But I feel like, shit, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, okay? Dropping shit. All right, give me one more. Why is the seven swords here with the moon on this betrayal? Oh, that's it. One more, please. Why is the seven of swords here? <laughs> I'm at seven of wands, sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Because somebody's trying to just hold you back with the four of pentacles. Somebody's trying to hold you back. I think I said that at the beginning with that night, um, with that rocking horse energy. Somebody wants to keep you stuck and stagnant. Somebody's trying to hold you back. Somebody's a little selfish as well. Trying to keep you from moving forward here with the, uh, I just saw the chariot. Why is the, um, Galactic Federation here? It's collaborating, these meetings, what is this about? Damn. All right. So... I picked up the strength in reverse and the five of pentacles. It's like somebody's coming together to try to figure out how, how to weaken you. Okay. The five of pentacles talks about, it's, it just could be about finances. Okay. Somebody's finances could be weak. Okay. This four of pentacles talks about, um, holding on to finances, being a little materialistic, being selfish, maybe pen, somebody's pen, pension, maybe somebody's saving for something. I don't know. Um, if this is talking about material, if it's talking about finances, but I feel like somebody could be trying to weaken your finances, weaken your defenses. Somebody wants you to feel left out in the cold, abandoned, confused, and used and betrayed. They want you to feel like this. They want you to feel weak with the strength in reverse. They don't want you to have any courage to stand your ground. Seven of Wands energy. They want you to be weak. It's like that. It's almost like they want you to need them or something like that. Or they want to weaken you because they need you? I don't know. What the fuck? That's weird. Okay. Uh, this 
is in my what is this? Yeah. This could be somebody you walk away from. Eight of Cups on the top of the deck here. With the Knight of Wands. The Emperor. These are all <sighs> fire energies. So this could be somebody you walked away from. You got that betrayal, hurt, backstabbing on the um split. Yeah, this is somebody you know, somebody you walk away from that you no longer deal with. This could be an ex. This could be um a lover. This could be, I don't know. Somebody who whoever these people are, they are definitely, they definitely talk about you. This ten of wands, ten of swords here is Gemini energy. This is Scorpio energy. They they've definitely talked about betraying you. Like this is, was a plan or something. What are these people trying to do to the collective? What are these people trying to do? How are they trying to betray the collective, please? Okay, you got the Hierophant. You know what? How are they trying to betray the collective? Hit the world and the Five of Swords. It's like they're trying to end something for you. Okay, I just heard platform. This Hierophant is about... Okay, this is your higher, this could be a higher level connection. Okay, this could be your higher self. This could be a platform. You could be sitting on a platform to have, see how people are looking up to the Hierophant. Okay, you could be, okay, I just heard advice. So you could be someone who gives someone advice. You could have a platform like this. You could be a tarot reader. You could be a psychic advisor. You could be a spiritual advisor. You could be, um, I don't know, like something where people look up. You could be some type of influencer, Instagram, TikTok, or something like that. I don't know. You could be some type of um, high authority in the community or somebody in the community that somebody looks up to. You could be like a pastor, a public speaker. Um, I don't know. I just heard nonprofit. Like, I don't know. Maybe you do a lot for the community or you help, you help people out a lot. There's something that you do that gets, gets you or will get you some type of recognition. 32, 22 on the timer. Um, it gets you, you have recognition, people know you, people look up to you, people come to you, you help people out, things like that, okay? And the world card, they're trying to put an end to this. This is about closing out a chapter or a cycle. So they could be trying to stop, put an end to, I just heard your notoriety. People want you to, to seem unreliable. They don't want to, they don't want people to listen to you. So, I just heard contradict. I don't know why. But it's like they don't want people to listen to you. They don't want people to follow you. They don't want people to... <laughs> it's like they're trying to make you out to be a liar. Look, the Ten of Swords is still on the bottom of the deck. Backstabbing, betrayal. <sighs> yeah, they're talking shit about you so that people don't follow you or don't believe you i told y'all i saw two i saw two fives in the book the hierophant is number five and you got the five of swords here this is that chaos that conflict and drama it's like somebody just throws out bullshit because the swords are about communication i'm just hearing lies and gossip and slander and all of that right and it's like somebody has put information out there about you or is trying to trying to get people to look at you in a different light and then like he got like a little smirk on his face it's like they stand back and look at their handiwork every time they they fuck some shit up for somebody or they think they have then they'll stand back and look at their handiwork somebody gets a kick out of being being dramatic like doing the most you get one more for why these people are trying to how these people are trying to betray the collective and why yeah, Seven of Cups. It's like, okay, I just heard a couple things. They want you to be in a state of confusion or they want be people to be confused about you or they want people to choose them. So this person could be trying to do what you do or they could have their own platform or their own whatever, okay, they do. But it's like they want to take the focus off of you and put it on them. They want people to choose them instead. It's like, hey, listen to me instead. Look at me instead. Pick me, pick me type shit. Ooh, look at me, look at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. oh my gosh. Okay. Why the sun car here? Right. 
justice. You're going to get justice for this. They're going to get karma for this. You're going to get justice for this. Whatever this is, okay? Because you guys, yeah, you work too hard for this shit. People don't even realize how hard you work. And I feel like how much you know, how smart you are, you're the real deal, how giving and loving you and kind that you really are. So they're over here trying to fake it, trying to fake everything that you are. But I just saw this post earlier in the week. I think over the weekend. But it said, but they can't copy your spirit though, right? So people can try to, you know, copy your being. They can try to do everything like you. They can try to dress like you, talk like you, walk like you, cook like you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck. But they can't copy your spirit, what's on the inside of you, your true essence, your true being. Like if they're a negative person on the inside, if they're an ugly person on the inside, it don't matter what they look like on the outside or what they try to present on the outside, okay? It doesn't matter because eventually if that's not, if they're not being their true authentic selves like you are, then that shit is going to show up because everybody can't fake it 100% of the time. It's always going to come out. Their true intentions, their true essence, 36, 36 on the timer, it's always going to come out. Some people, somebody going to say the wrong thing to them and they're going to forget that they're supposed to be this high vibrational love and light type being and then they're going to lash out and they're going to really show their ass. Not saying that people who are high vibrational and love and light and, and spiritual don't have their moments because we absolutely do, but... It's not who we are. Everybody has their moments, but it's not who we are. But whoever these people are, they're negative Nancys all the time. Look at the devil energy on the split. They're negative Nancys. They have bad energy around them all the time. They can't fake having good energy because it's always fucking bad. And I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Well, I fire energy here. Because I got to wrap this up. Last fire here. <laughs> oh, look at that. All of this shit fell in the reverse. Face up. Whew, I just heard false twin flame, false masculine, um, with the emperor here in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse, and the magician in reverse. Sorcery, sorcerer, whatever this mass, whatever this manipulation is, it ain't working. Whatever this fire sign is trying to do, these fire signs are and possibly this cancer or whoever the fuck it is for you. It's not going to work. It's unsuccessful. It's unsuccessful. And I hear, I hear it's unsuccessful attempt after unsuccessful attempt. Like they keep trying. Whatever they're doing is not working because this person is low vibrational. Or these people, low vibrational, but they're watching you. They're watching to see if what they're doing is working. They're watching to see what you have going on here. They're, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, they're watching to see if they slow down anything for you. Yeah, if they slow down your connection, your divine union, your love life, your finances or whatever. But everything in reverse here is like a no. It's a no. No. If you're watching, no. You didn't do anything. Okay? You're fucking up your shit for your damn self, if anything. Why is cancer here? Dang it. Why these fucking things keep falling on the damn floor? <laughs> Y'all do not want me to do this damn reading. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Queen of Wands. This is Aries energy. More fire energy. You got Libra energy here. You got um the Knight of Pentacles, <clears throat> which is Taurus energy, and you got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, also Taurus energy. Um, Virgo energy, sorry. Virgo Taurus Capricorn is here. Whatever. Okay, we ain't gonna get too hung up on these signs. But yeah, somebody's definitely trying to slow down your money. Somebody could have been trying to woo you, manipulate you. You guys could get a message from somebody or somebody wants to send you a message. Yeah, I said there was a message coming in. So a message coming in could be from a fire sign. Um, <laughs> I just got them down a little bit. I, I'm getting to, to wait because that's a whole nother video. Okay, so I might have to go into a, another video immediately after this. But yeah, um, somebody wants to communicate something to you, but it's like they're hoping that this communication or whatever this is slows something down for you. 
Could be this Cancer. Yeah, we got the Hermit here. Could be a Virgo. King of Pentacles. They want you to miss out on some type of opportunity, some type of abundance and happiness. Why shame here? Why shame here? Ace of Wands. This is about passionate, passionate new beginning. This is a new start. Okay. The um fool on the bottom of the deck is a leap of faith here. Waiting, 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 waiting. Ooh, my waiting, waiting, waiting on something. Why is the ace of wands here? Eight of Pentacles. Now this could be about hard work or this could be about spell work. Okay. What else for this shame here? King of Swords. Somebody thought they were smarter than you. Somebody thought they could outsmart you. Somebody thought they could outsmart the universe. Somebody tried to trick you. Somebody thought they could out they were smarter than you, that they were smarter than the universe, or that they were the smartest person in the universe. <laughs> Got not a wand here. Yeah, somebody's regretting something here. In their head about something. Worried about something. Anxious about something. Possibly about being judged. Or judgment day. Or something like that. Somebody's ashamed of how. Of something that they did or said to you. Or about you. Yeah. Yeah. And I almost feel like in, in trying to sabotage you. They sabotage themselves. Okay. Because, again, you know how to, they could have sent snakes to you, but it's like, or they could have tried to be a snake. But, again, I've said this in several readings. You guys know how to take that negative energy and that all of that evil eye and all that whatever the crap, okay, negativity, and turn it into something positive and transmute that energy into something positive, right? So, I feel like in the end, they really self-sabotage themselves. They really sabotage themselves. Okay, you got the chariot with the um hangman hey here. Yeah, it's like they caught themselves up in something. Now they can't move forward here. Yeah, trying to mess with your stability and your gifts and your power or your um destiny or whatever. It's like they got themselves caught up in some shit. Yeah, three of cups. Could be three or more people. Two of Wands. Ooh, somebody's under judgment for this. Um, I don't know. I almost feel like somebody wants to apologize or something, but somebody's making a plan. They were making plans or they were trying to make plans, but I feel like the plans are stalled. They backfired. Why is the ground in here? I was grounding here, please. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you guys are sowing new seeds. Um, somebody's ready to invest in you, or you're ready to invest in someone. Yeah, you're taking a leap of faith here with the fool card. You're taking a risk. Ten of Cups. Oh, somebody took a risk. Ten of Cups. Okay, this could have something to do with a family. Or this could be like a baby mom, baby dad here. But now somebody's in regret five of cups about all this conflict and chaos and drama here because now they have it coming back to them tenfold. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. Three of swords on the split. Now they're heartbroken. Now they're sitting in a whole bunch of sadness and regret looking like boo-boo the fool. For fucking with some shit. That they shouldn't have been fucking with. For messing with a person that they shouldn't have been messing with. People do not know the calling that you have over your life. Why they look on the dang on split. Fake friend and delusional and cray cray. Or I tell you. So for some of you, this is a fake friend. Be still. You got mentally unstable here. Mm. Somebody was ignoring their inner voice, their wisdoms. I feel like somebody got 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 um 
told to stop okay like they they got a message from the universe or whatever that they ignored okay they were told to stop leave this person alone walk away from the situation you know better all this but they ignored it okay on saturday so somebody could have got like some type of download or something on saturday somebody ignored their intuition on saturday something about saturday look mental prison mentally unstable and mental prison yeah this person all up in their head or these people are all up in their head here you got karmic male okay i told y'all with that um emperor in reverse here i said false twin flame false mad masculine the distorted masculine karmic male mm -hmm. all up in their head because they were ignoring their intuition now they're going crazy like you know Charmer and illusionist. Fakey fake. This is Seven of Swords type energy. Or that magician in reverse energy. They were trying to charm you. Cast, cast doubts over you. Manipulate you. Use you. Yeah. But you deserve better than this. Than this person. Okay. Can we just talk by Khaled? Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going. Oh, and somebody's like, no, we're not going anywhere. We're going to talk about. <laughs> That's why that uh, chariot came out here with the daggone um, hangman. Like, yeah, there's no forward moving. But we don't have anywhere to go, nothing to talk about, okay? We got mirror work here. It's all falling apart, yeah. And I think you're the one. Ugh, no. It's like, I said you're going to have some communication coming in. It's like this person is going to start experiencing these tower moments or whatever and they're going to kind of somehow trace it back to you like dang it didn't start happening until i did this to such and such or until i said this to such and such like shit let me go back and and try to you know fix this and charm them and tell them that i think they're the one but you deserve better i just heard don't you dare no my spirit guys are don't you dare go back to this person <laughs> Okay, okay, you got witch bitch here. Hmm. Somebody plays with a little magic, magic, a little dark magic, a little dusty, dusty, a little spell work, a little herbs here, a little herbs there, but they do it negatively. Okay, this witch bitch. Okay, toxic. Mm hmm. Something about children. Ooh, this has something to do with your with somebody's child. Somebody, I don't like to. November. We in November, child. Somebody's child could be born in November. Okay? Holding back emotions. Didn't I say, are you seeing anyone? Somebody wanted to know if you were seeing anyone. I said that at the beginning. You got some sort of a spiritual gift here. Okay? All right, guys. We're going to have to wrap this up. Somebody says, all you had to do was tell me. Beauty spells, July. I can still taste you. I went through your phone by Cardi B. Creep Squad, a player. Player, player. Anything else? Got somebody in a black car. You are them. You smell good. Somebody's feeling stuck or trapped in a situation. Somebody wants to reconcile. Reconciliation. Collaboration. I told y'all three more people. You're so beautiful. Trauma bond. Red car. Oh boy. Best friend is here. Shadow man. Voodoo spirits working like that. Okay. Feeling stuck or trapped here. I'm so horny. Copycat. Mm-hmm. Full moon. Caught on camera. You deserve better. I had so much fun with you. Somebody you have a soul tie with. Candle magic. Shape shifter. Divine masculine, divine feminine. <laughs> wow. It should have never happened. Church goer. They know I want you. February, answer the phone. I'm trying to call you. Somebody could have messed up their uh, return to sender, messed up their connection with their divine masculine or divine feminine by doing some fuck shit. Hmm. 
Moon Magic. Taking advantage in December. Temptation. This person's going to try to tempt you in December. Okay, they could be trying to take advantage of you. Talk, but they're talking behind your back. Blame game. You got to release, freeing yourself and no longer trap. Yeah, release yourself. Fake friend on the bottom of the deck on deck. That's all I got for y'all. Peace, love, prosperity, and abundance to y'all. Bye.